Welcome again as we share another story of someone's encounter with the Holy Spirit, specifically through receiving the baptism in the Holy Spirit. These are Holy Spirit stories. I'm Pastor Rick, and today I'm welcoming uh, Pastor Evan Eikhoff. He is our youth and associate, associate pastor here at Columbus First Assembly. Pastor Evan, welcome. Hi. So uh, when did you first get interested or first hear about this thing called the baptism in the Holy Spirit? Um, I went to church camps, um, and I would hear about it, and I mean, the first couple of years it was a little intimidating, you know, you, if you want to receive the power of the Holy Spirit, I didn't fully understand, especially as an eight-year-old, um, but I went on a youth retreat, it was called Snow Blast with Lakeview, and um, they talked about it again, and I, I, I was starting to more understand uh, that God loved me, and he was a gentleman, and um, as soon as they talked about it and they asked who wants, who wants to receive, I, I really didn't even need to raise my hand. The leaders already knew he's ready. And I had a leader pray for me. Uh, his name is Jason Meyer. I still remember him to this day. And he prayed over me. And as soon as he did, I started speaking in tongues. And it was really, really, really cool um, feeling that. And it was like the, the spirit came upon me, but it wasn't like so much to where it was overwhelming, but he just came upon me with a love, and I said, God, whatever you have for me, give it to me. And my, my parents taught me about it as a kid, but really experiencing it myself was really cool. Mm -hmm. So had you sought it before, or this was the very first time when you actually sought the baptism? That was the very first time. Wow. And so almost instantly you started to speak in tongues. Yep. So how'd that, what did that encounter feel like to you? Um, it was cool. I mean, it was... I felt God's love. I mean, that, that was one thing. I felt the Holy Spirit come upon me, and it's, it's interesting to kind of explain because it's kind of hard to describe. I, it was just an overwhelming, not overwhelming, but just a full spirit coming upon me. And really, God came as much as I would let him. And so I just said, God, as much as you want to give, or as much as, just come upon me as much as possible. So it was really cool. It just... Curious, uh, how old were you when you had this experience? I was 12. You were 12, mm -hmm. okay, and you said it was at a youth retreat? Yes. So you would have been in middle school, junior high? Yep. Uh -huh. After you received, how did it or is it still uh, impacting your life? Sure, yeah, after I received, um, I, I, I still was a little hesitant, and I mean the devil kind of, gave me the thoughts of like, it was that real? Was that genuine? Are you able? And I, I still sought it. And I, there was different things that we went to, different retreats, different camps. And I kept seeking it. And they asked if you wanted a refilling. And um, as I developed in my relationship, relationship with Christ, I also started developing that uh, gift. And I, I pray consistently um, in tongues and yeah, so when I have my prayer times, I like to speak in tongues, just say, Holy Spirit, pray what you need to pray through me, intercede for me, because sometimes I don't know what to pray, and I know God wants to intercede for me, so that's what I do. Cool. Well, my heart is that everyone, every child of God, will receive this that the that the Lord has for us. It is a good gift for all of his children. And so that's one of the reasons we're sharing these stories, just as an opportunity for you to hear how other people have encountered the Holy Spirit and how other people have received this thing called the baptism in the Holy Spirit. If you desire more information, I preached a full sermon on this a few weeks ago called Immersed in the Holy Spirit. It's available on our YouTube channel, and so just look that one up. But for an in-depth teaching on the baptism in the Holy Spirit and this thing called speaking in other tongues, I have an audio series of messages on our church website. You would go to the resource page under sermons and scroll all the way to the bottom. There is a series called Seven Reasons Why We Should Speak in Other Tongues. And this is where I have plenty of time to talk about this thing called the baptism in the Holy Spirit and specifically what most people are curious about speaking in other tongues. So I uh, hope these uh, interviews, these uh, testimonies uh, have been beneficial to you and encouraging to you. Seek all God God has for you. The baptism in the Holy Spirit is a good gift that we desire that each and every follower of the Lord Jesus Christ receives. Until next time, I'm Pastor Rick, and these are Holy Spirit Stories.